Welcome to the AI Render Open Beta. This video will demonstrate the video-to-video -video workflow and how to apply style transformation to your animation. Currently, one of the main challenges in AI-generated video is that prompts have difficulty achieving multi-character interaction and proper camera setup. However, with iClone, we can intuitively control these elements. We will showcase the complete process using a two-character fight animation created with iClone and AI Render. First, I use Smart Search with natural language to find fighting animation packs. I'm aiming for impact, so I choose a heavier style. The pack contains paired actions, ready to apply to both characters. Next, I open the AI Render tool and select a cartoon-style preset. I keep the default settings and simply verify that control net depth is generated correctly. This character is mid-range, so I select mid-shot. If the result lacks detail, if needed, I can fine-tune the settings. Now we've got a clear depth map. All that's left is to set the resolution and then hit preview. We render right away and the results are clear. After setting up the first character, I open the content manager to configure the second. I select the corresponding action and position the character. When reviewing the timeline, the contact points might appear misaligned. I open AccuPose and lock the keyframes before and after the target pose. I freeze non-moving limbs and adjust only the fist to land accurately. AccuPose is an AI motion keyframe system that maintains natural motion across the whole body. I render again to verify that the two-character interaction is processed correctly. So far, the outcome is as expected. We can move on to refinement. The previous render shows the characters are not grounded properly. Let's return to Smart Search. We search for building assets by entering geometric shapes into the asset pack. The pack includes blocks, floors, and other environment elements. Importing a floor will establish proper grounding. After completing the previous steps, we move on to styling and rendering. Switch to video mode and select the cartoon preset. I enter text in the prompt field to fine-tune the character's appearance. If unsure how to describe the scene, use Capture Viewport to auto-generate a prompt from the current view. Then, modify the prompt text as needed. In addition to the prompt, we also adjust settings in the sampler section. Since we've added language input, enabling AI creativity gives the AI more control over the visuals. You can also manually increase the prompt influence value to make the AI follow instructions more precisely. Check resolution, frame count, and FPS. It's recommended not to exceed 24 FPS. I've set it to the minimum for smoother results. Choose your resolution based on your computer's capability. Square 512 is recommended. Next time we preview the style, so control net will be applied frame by frame. Since the ground is now defined, the scene can also generate structural backgrounds. Next, let's talk about how to use prompts to fine-tune visual details. I disable Always Render New. As long as I don't change frame count, resolution, or add new control nets, the existing ones won't re-render. This significantly speeds up the rendering process. 
Before we get started, lock the seed to ensure consistent variation in the results. First, I describe the character's clothing with the prompt torn shirts, sweaty bodies, to add a sense of realism after intense combat. Then I added a prompt to define the character appearance Vin Diesel and Jason Statham, style face-off, which immediately brings to mind two intense bald fighters in action. Finally, I used prompts related to lighting and motion. The first part emphasizes dramatic lighting, while the second provides scene and context descriptions, helping the AI generate the video more consistently. After checking the visuals, click Render under the Preview section to start rendering the video. There are two video models available. Choose based on your system performance. In this prompt area, you can also add additional prompts to describe camera effects and visual effects in more detail. However, you can still leave this section blank. Rendering is complete. The video will retain the rendered result. After rendering, you can upscale the video. Up to four times resolution is supported. You can also use this workflow to experiment with different styles or use our asset library to create multi-character interactions. And that's the full AI Render Beta video workflow. Thank you for watching.